What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I've got a video of what I would call the ultimate hypebeast sneaker apartment tour featuring my friend Harrison Neville Space. So if you guys don't know him already, he is a YouTuber that does videos of sneaker and fashion and about a year ago we watched each other's apartment tours and kind of started talking over that and we both just kind of had an appreciation for interior design and tech and I sort of like hype beast and fashion related stuff as well. So I got on a plane and flew out to Atlanta and finally had the chance to check out his brand new space in person and in the end of this video I'm also going to show you his own apartment that he actually lives in that has great design and is very in line with the kind of style that I enjoy as well. I have also teamed up with Harrison to give away an Xbox One S, so if you guys want to enter that, just make sure you check the link down below to enter that giveaway. So for starters, this is the apartment that Harrison uses to film his videos, and it has kind of two sides to it, both the theater side as well as the shoe wall and his desk setup, so we're going to take a look at both sides here. Beginning with the media and kind of gaming side, you've got yourself some IKEA furniture, the best of units that kind of go together as well as the Ikut shelves. These are absolutely perfect for mounting and displaying some shoes and accessories, and just really show all the different colors and part of the collection. With the IKEA system, you can really customize things exactly the way you like, whether you want a glass case or you want another display shelf to put some of your bare bricks and stuff. But I think the coolest thing, what I got a lot of questions on in my Instagram when I posted a story of it, is this levitating sneaker holder. This is from a company called Tobu Sinica, and the way it works is that you have to put the right magnets and weights inside the shoe and it will kind of magnetically levitate for as long as you want it to. It is the perfect place to put a grail sneaker and in Harrison's case his favorite ones are the Jordan 1 Chicago's which happen to be my favorite as well as the Serena Williams Blazers with Off-White. No hypey space is going to be complete without a set of bare bricks so right here you've got the Herschel bare brick in the giant 1000% size as well as a 400% bare brick from Babe. I like the way the bare brick kind of sits next to the shelf and how the small one fills in the gap is just absolutely perfect. Some of the other shelves has some of Harrison's favorite accessories including the off-white blazers, the Travis Scott Jordan 1s, the Supreme Bear, and also a red Supreme money gun. There's so many ways to display your shoes but this is a very clean way to do it while also giving you some space to put a display shelf on top of it which is what Harrison has done here with some of his other pairs. The Jordan 1 is easily one of the most iconic and beautiful pair of shoes from Nike dating all the way back to 1995 and I just love the way they look in these shelves in kind of the stacked pattern. Even though I think sneakers should always be worn as part of the collection, it is still nice to have a place for some pairs just to sit and appreciate. Another major essential for any hypey space is Supreme accessories and you couldn't find anything larger than a Supreme sled. This lives on the left side and gives this entire setup along with the Supreme ball and the director's chair a huge pop. As YouTubers and content creators, I think the Supreme Director's Chair is very fitting. The TV at the center of the space is a TCL 55 inch 4K 5 series TV and I have to say for the price at kind of the medium range I was very impressed with the quality. It has Dolby Vision HDR as well as Roku Smart TV built in and it's just overall a very solid TV and like I said I was pretty pleasantly surprised especially when it came to gaming. The console that we have in this setup is the Microsoft Xbox One X and it has 4K HDR compatibility as well as some games that really do take advantage of the most advanced gaming graphics for a console. This paired with a TV that really takes advantage of it with its HDR and 4K really gives it a great experience especially with a game like Forza. With Harrison being someone who absolutely loved cars and myself being someone who is sort of interested but also loves watching Formula One, this is a game that we really loved playing together but I was driving like an absolute asshole and it worked most of the time. Even though Racing games aren't the ones that I play all the time and I'm not the best at it. It's just cool to see how far console graphics have come in terms of graphics, the scenery, the way the cars handle and are different to each other. So this is something that we had a lot of fun playing while I was in Atlanta. Now moving to the other side of the room, you've got a shelf full of some other shoes as well that are very nicely displayed alongside some accessories and art as well as his desk setup. This is a shelf that is seen a lot around the sneaker community to display different shoes and it is called the IKEA LAC. Here you've got a few pair of Jordans, a few more pieces from the Off-White collection, some Yeezys. And if you're someone who still wants to wear your pair of shoes and don't necessarily want to have it levitating all the time, having a shelf like this allows you to pick up any pair and just start wearing it at any time. It was awesome to see some of my favorite pairs of shoes along with some that I hadn't seen before including the Cost Jordan 4s. Harrison also had a few pieces of the Off-White Jordan collection including one pair that he actually hydro dipped in a past video. Next to the entire shelf you do have some art from local artists as well as the Takashi Complex Con skateboards. On the shelf itself you just have a few collectibles such as the Off-White Champagne or also some Supreme Band-Aids. Because Harrison is a YouTuber as well, he does have a lot of camera gear and on a shelf of its own there is some Sony gear. He uses a Sony a7 III as well as some G Master lenses, the 16-35, the 24-70, you've got a Supreme strap of course, as well as a Rode mic and a small monitor. 
So now moving on to the desk setup, which sits next to the window and gives lots of natural light in. It is overall a pretty simple setup, and Harrison just has all the fundamentals that he needs and nothing much else. The main computer here is the Apple iMac Pro, and I've been using one recently and really enjoy it. He's also got an SD card slot on the front which is used for his camera as well as a pair of studio monitors for referencing sound and listening to music. Aside from that you have a bit of storage from G Technology and otherwise it is just a simple clean editing desk setup for getting administrative work done as well as video editing. The furniture that he has is a Herman Miller chair as well as an IKEA standing desk which is windable manually and the editing software he uses is Final Cut Pro 10. But now let's let Harrison give a quick tour and overview of kind of the vision behind the entire setup itself as well as some questions that I had for him. Go. What's up guys, my name is Harrison Neville and welcome to my studio. This is my filming set basically where I film all my YouTube videos. We've kind of doubled it as it looks like a living room but the whole living room area is set up dedicated for filming YouTube videos where we have my desk set up, we have two different sets. So let's go ahead and give you a little bit of a tour of it. So this is the newest side that we just put up over here. It features a little bit of Ikea furniture with the different squares. We have a couple different things going on. We have a lot of Supreme, a lot of sneakers. So we just put a TV stand, we put a TV from TCL right here. We also have the Xbox hooked up so we can play video games, you know, in our off time. We won't really have that on while we're, you know, filming videos, but we like to feature a few sneakers in these cubes over here. We have these sneaker capsules that just kind of like showcase the shoe. Kind of hard to see on camera because they're a little bit reflective. And then we just have a few different things featured throughout, like these spinning sneaker things. These are really cool. But we just like to have that pop of hype with the Supreme, the pop of like the hype sneakers throughout, and just kind of make it look like a functional living room at the same time. So this is kind of a good setup that, you know, we get just to have as the backdrop, but we haven't used it yet because we just finished setting this up probably like literally yesterday. So moving around this window, obviously this is where we get most of the light for the videos, but we keep all the camera equipment over here. We just have some gimbals, all our SD cards, our charging station, as well as on this corner, we have a few bare bricks and just a little case, kind of like a trophy case, you could say. So we just like to display things so it looks you know, cool in video to have as this set. We make our way around. We have my iMac Pro. This is the main thing that I use to edit on. It is the base model eight core, but it gets the job done. I also have two studio monitors, some G-Rate hard drives. I like to keep it simple because I just, you know, like to sit down and edit. I don't want too much clutter on the desk. I kind of move around a little bit. I have two different desks that I'll kind of move towards, but I like the smaller one currently. So I like to edit here, and then this moves onto the second set that's on this side. That just, again, features some artworks from some of my favorite artists that I have around Atlanta, and just in general, there's a few art from around the world. We have some shelves, some more Ikea shelves with all the sneakers. I just think that this kind of thing with the color pop and everything makes the whole setup just kind of pop. When you have those sneakers, when you have all the different art, it's things for people to look at but not be too distracted while I'm making these videos. It's not just a plain wall. So now that we've taken a look at his Hypebeast room and the place that he films and where his cameraman lives, here's the actual apartment that he lives in. It's just so nice to see that someone else has appreciation for nice furniture and the way this place is designed is just a nice modern, comfortable theme that is disconnected from his workplace. The furniture and layout is well thought out and some of the pieces are ones that I have in my place as well and there is also some Hypebeast touches around the space. The dining table and chairs are from Rove Concepts including the Winston table and the Aubrey chairs in the nice leather finish and these are the same chairs that I have in my dining room and I'm very excited to open them up. It's just a very clean, circular round table that is a great place to work and eat. A few pieces of decoration include the Cosbook as well as the Hypey Schoolyard issue found on top. As for the TV and media setup, this is the Rove Concept Asher paired with a 65 inch Samsung TV and curved soundbar. One of my favorite pieces by far though is the coffee table and this is the Rove Concepts Truman and not only does it look very modern and high quality with the wood finish, but it actually has a storage compartment that slides along and makes everything very seamless to store inside. The glass finish on one side with the opening on the bottom allows you to put things in a very decorative manner with some accessories that also go on top to go with everything. The golden black look paired with walnut wood and white accents is very much the aesthetic that I personally love as well. Some little accessories found in the living room include a 400% Herschel bear brick as well as the Jeff Koons dog and this is a replica one that is often found on Amazon. On the other side you're also going to find a cause figure and I really really wanted to steal this. Last but not least to fill the gap in the TV stand you've got a bait box. Because this is a corner suite with floor to ceiling windows, you've got a ton of light and with the space on the back, it is just such a nice place to chill, especially with these two West Elm brown seats. With a color scheme of white, gold, matte black, and also walnut, the leather tan just goes very well with the walnut wood accents in all the furniture around the place. I just really like the fact that there is a big style disconnect between the space that he was living in and the place that he films and works, which is the Hype Beast and Sneaker Room. 
So what's your favorite shoe? Um, I don't know. Justin just asked me what my favorite shoe is. And it's kind of hard to pick. I'm trying to see. I would have to say my grail is the Off-White Chicago. Where is it? This is probably my grail sneaker right here. I've owned them three times now. The first two times I got them new and I sold them and I ended up buying a third pair when the prices went up for the same price for as I bought the first two, but these were actually used. But this is a grail, but I've only worn them three times. So that's it's not a shoe that I wear a lot. Not that I'm afraid to wear them, but it's just like, I feel like it's too hard of a flex when I wear these because they're so expensive. I would say my second favorite sneaker that I probably would wear more often would be the Serena Williams Off-White Blazer. I know Hype Beast a lot of Off-White, but these really are like, I love these colors. I've wanted these for a long time and I just finally got my hands on them. I just like to wear, I, I end up wearing the same typical sneakers never. Like I get in a cycle of wearing the same shoes for about a week and then I'll switch to another one or wear those for a week. And so I, I try to have a little bit of variety, but for the most part, I stick to the same shoes. What is your favorite piece of tech? Favorite piece of tech? I think it's iMac Pro or yeah, iMac Pro. I just love editing. Editing is my favorite part of YouTube. And so I like to have a machine that can handle it. Now, this one seems to be slowing down a little bit for how big my projects are. So we might have to be upgrading a little soon, but that I'd say it's one of my favorite things. I've been on Mac since I was 16. So it's been a while. I'm used to all the editing systems and everything like that. So it's probably my favorite and my Sony camera, Sony a7 III. He's shooting on it right now. I know Justin likes to use the 1DX, but shooting on a Sony now and look, man, look how big this is. This is too much for to walk around with. Worth so, it. Well, I mean, my cameraman is the one that has to, you know, take care of it. But I think the Sony, that's one of my favorites. The Sony and the uh, iMac Pros are my two favorite pieces of tech. How long ago were you a tech YouTuber? How long ago was I a tech YouTuber? Probably nobody on my channel knows it. I was a tech YouTuber when I was a junior, no, freshman in high school. And I made videos on iPhone cases. I emailed 100 companies a month asking for free iPhone cases, okay. iPad cases. That was the grind, getting them in, doing a review. I since stopped doing that. I gained about, right now the channel is 2,000 subscribers. I gained about 2,000 subs doing that. It never took off never really worked out but it's fun to look back on i haven't even shown justin so i've shown him one old video and i look bad Can we put gone. your old videos on this clip all the old videos are off of youtube you cannot find them there's one video if you know a specific term to search that you could find but other than that you're not gonna find anything so i took them down it was so long ago i look like a little I, i'm a little kid there like i'm how old am i probably 15. it's not they're, not they're out of existence they're gone Otherwise, that pretty much wraps it up for my tour of Harrison Neville space in Atlanta. And I just had such a good time this trip, just hanging out and checking out his stuff. And I feel like we do share a lot of passions. So we had a lot of stuff to talk about. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.